Wanasikuya, praise God. I'm Tala Njoroge from the Word of Life Harvest Ministry. And I'm not ashamed to say that I'm born again and Messiah is my personal savior. I'm always happy for he has always given me the grace and he has always granted me a chance to talk to that person, that person who at times feels you are sorrow, you are so down. Sometimes you feel like you don't have hope. You feel like you have lost everything. I'm here to tell you that God knows you. He holds your life at his hands. He, got, he got good plans over your life. And he knows whatever you are going through. He knows the pains that you are facing. He knows the trials and the tri challenges that you are going through or you are facing in this world. Never give up. Never stop trying. Never stop believing in yourself. Never stop believing in the power of God. For he is good and for his so faithful and at his own given time he's going to make everything beautiful and perfect for his people good things are in store for his people God so many many things in store for us it's only the fact that we don't ask for what we need whenever you find or you find yourself you are in a situation and you need something feel free to call unto him Feel free to knock at that door of our God and he is surely going to open it for you. Ask for whatever you need. Ask for whatever you want from him and he's going to give it unto you. He has done it for me. He has been so faithful on my side and I can testify that God has done so much for me. He has done the things that no other human being could have done unto me. He has changed the situation which I thought they could never be changed in life. He has got me from so many, many things in this life. He's a faithful God and he's so true. He's a just God and he knows each and every one of you. No matter what you go through in this life, no matter the difficult situation, keep on believing in his name. Never ever give up. Whenever you wake up, never stop trying. When you have that strength, keep on trying and doing what you think you can. He's so powerful and he can do things that no other human being can ever do in your lives. Do not underestimate yourself. Do not say that some things were made for other people. Do not say that you cannot try something just because you are so weak. You are not weak. And if you are weak, our God is so strong. If you feel your soul right, sorrow, our God, he lives at the highest prayer at his throne. He watches over you. He watches over every one of you. And he knows you more even than you know yourself. He can do things that your parents cannot do unto your lives. Why then not ask what you want? Why then feel so down at this life? Why then feel like he has forgotten you? I'm here to assure you that God has not forgotten you. God knows you. He holds your life. He got so many things in store for you. All you need is to let him know the desires of your heart. Let him be God in your life, for he is God, he was God, and he will ever, forever be God. He will remain to be there, he will never leave you, nor forsake you. Your shadow also leaves you at times. Your friends may leave you, your family members may leave you, but I'm here to assure you that God will not leave you. You got so much potential in you, you got so much in store for you keep on trying fear not and again i say fear not do not fear to try what you think you can do not fear to call him do not fear to let all your desires be known unto him for he can change situation that no other human being can do for you god is good god is faithful He's just, he's holy, 
slow loving and so caring. All he requires from us, we stand and we do what is expected of, uh, expected of us. We do his will. We remain holy for he is holy and he walks with those who are holy. You remain faithful unto his word and he will forever remain faithful unto you. When you stand on your position, when you stand and do what God has asked you to do, he'll never forsake you, he'll never leave you, nor he'll ever at any given point of your life leave you alone in this world. Be faithful to yourself. Be holy because God works with those who are holy. Do things that are just. Do not judge others. Do not hurt others. Do the things that you would want other people to do unto you. And whatever you may not want or you may not want it to be done unto you, don't be, do it to other believers or to other fellow human beings. Do what you may want it to be done unto you. Believe in God again. Believe in his power. And know that he never leave you nor forsake you. No matter what, no matter what you face through in this life, not at any given time that he is going to leave you. I'm a witness. He has done it for me. And I can assure you that he can also do it for you. Let all your hard desires be known unto him. Let whatever you want in this life, let him know. And it is on perfect time. He is going to give you what is perfect for you. Delay is not denial. The fact that whatever you wanted has been delayed, it does not mean that you have been denied the chance to have it at your hands. It does not mean that because it has taken so long, you are not going to receive what you have been praying for. No matter how many years you are going to take, no matter the number of days that you are going to take, good things take a long time to be processed. When you feel like your blessing has been delayed, Know that God is working on it so that he can give what is best for you. And he gives what's best for his people. Don't rush to receive things so easily. Don't rush to tell him that he has delayed. Let him take his time to bless you with what he wants you to have at his own time. He's so faithful and he has remained to be faithful from those old days. At this time he's still faithful. He was God and it as to this day he still remains to be God. Be patient and you are going to receive what is best for you. Trust in him alone. Keep all your trust on God and in him alone. Don't trust or don't keep your trust on your fellow human beings. They got nothing to give you they got nothing to offer unto you, but God got everything for us and for his people. Be patient, be strong, believe in yourself, and above everything else, believe in the power of God. And he is going to change, he is going to change the situation that no one can ever change. May God reward you. And again, I'll say, may he enable you. And he may May he make you to be patient enough to wait for his own perfect time.